Hi guys, you're welcome to an amazing month of love. You're welcome to Frankly Speaking with Glory and Happy New Month, guys. So, what's good? What's happening? Oh, before I forget, this is actually my birthday month. Mm -hmm. So, I usually call myself a love baby because that's Valentine's Day, 14th of February, and that's also my birthday, and that's also the birthday of this really, really special person. Yeah, so it's going to be like an amazing month and I am so looking forward to all the great things that's going to happen. So what's going to happen at your end? I know that usually this time of the year, a lot of us always get confused. We always start to fret about, oh my gosh, what's going to happen on Valentine's Day? Well, fret no more because I'm going to be giving you tips on how to make the most of Valentine's Day. I know it's actually really really too early for this topic But then I just felt like I should give out those tips to everyone out there so that that anticipation of 14th of February is around the corner is going to reduce a bit. Yes, make our temperature calm down small Anyways, number one tip on how to make the most of your Valentine's Day is first of all <laughs> Don't fret Yes, first of all, don't fret. Come on, it's just Valentine's Day. It's only a love day, as people call it. It's nothing about killing yourself over. It's nothing for you to be worried about. Yes, I know that a lot of us want to feel that sense of need and being needed. We want to feel that sense of love and being loved. But then, all the same, it's not really, really much of a big deal if you think of it from another perspective. Because Valentine's Day is, first of all, the need to show love to the needy so you are not a needy person are you no you're not a needy person so um in as much as the world has come to you know revamp the meaning of valentine's day it doesn't mean that it should make you fret you don't want to fret at all because it's going to raise your bp yes so don't even fret about it just first of all understand that valentine's day is not that day for your lover or your boyfriend or your girlfriend to come and tell you that oh baby i love you it's not that day for them to come and reaffirm their affections for you no it is just first of all a day for people to show kindness to show love to those who are less privileged and who are needy so babies and bubbles out there if you know that you are not less privileged, <laughs> if you know that you are not needy, don't even fret about Valentine's Day. It's not even worth the energy. So number two, do not expect anything from anybody. Trust me, do not put yourself in that position of expecting that someone from somewhere or your lover is going to come and dash you plenty of gifts and say, oh baby, I love you. Without you, I would die. Come on. Uh, don't even put yourself in that position at all. It's not worth it. I mean, it takes a lot of energy even anticipating something. And then when that thing doesn't come to reality, what do you do? You can't kill yourself. No, you can't kill yourself. So don't even expect at all. Instead, why don't you reverse the case? Why don't you put yourself in the position of wanting to give out something to people or to persons who actually really really need it okay i'm not saying that your loved ones do not need that love and show of affection or love or attention or whatever but then if you just channel that energy into giving it to um the less privileged to people who are needy when i say needy like people who don't have food clothing and shelter you just go to a motherless baby's home and then give out something really really special to them something that will put a smile on your faces and See, it will help you kill all spirits of expectations, okay? So that's just number two. So tip number three on how to make the most of your Valentine's Day is see yourself as the first love of your life. Exactly. Exactly, because the moment you can sit down and appreciate the wonderful creation of God that you are, then you would find it easy to give out love to others okay so don't don't make it look like oh i am here i need somebody to show me love you can also show yourself love and one way to show yourself love is get yourself a valentine's gift if it means that much to you get yourself a gift um you can also take yourself out and you can make it really really look official you can just 
do make a reservation at a top-notch restaurant or take yourself to the movies you know make it look really official like someone is actually coming to take you out when in the real sense you are the one coming to take yourself out okay so that way you do not really really feel left out of the whole excitement that comes with Valentine's Day and the last and the last and the last why do I always do this I always say last tip and then after the last tip and I come and give another tip again I think I just have too many tips in my head anyways don't mind me but really really this time around I am serious the last and the last and final tip on how to make the most of your Valentine's Day it's not a must that you must have sex that day it's not and now I'm gonna go into Nigerian PJ come if you think say now on Valentine's Day now you suppose open your two legs for your boyfriend or your girlfriend you don't miss road because growing up there was this stupid thing that used to happen you know a girl will be playing hard to get for a guy a girl will be playing hard to get or too booked and busy for a girl and then on valentine's day once they just get one small gift on the person blah leg door open pants down everything coming out popping come on seriously i mean the world is evolving already so i feel like we've grown past the stage of you know you play hard to get and then on valentine's day you now start doing tumbu tumbu competition come on you know you don't have to do that you don't have to say that and to be to be to be the person will buy me the most and that person now open legs for it doesn't really make sense yeah it doesn't make sense so guys those are my few tips on how to make the most of your valentine's day if you have any other tip that you want to have to do do so in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet Come on, it's a month of love. Show some love to Frankly Speaking with Glory and subscribe, alright? Just click on the subscribe button below. And also, you see this transparent bell that's just there? It's the notification bell of my channel. So all you have to do is just click on that bell and you will always get alerts of my new posts. Until next time, enjoy this amazing new month. Make the most of it. Make yourself happy. Don't be sad. Don't feel left out when boys are sending gifts to girls and when girls are getting gifts from boys. Don't even feel left out at all because you are the most amazing human being that God ever created. So till next time. Bye.